Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters and welcome back to another declutter video. Today I am tackling my individual individual eyeshadows, pigments, glitters. Um, I'm not looking to do a massive declutter, I'm just looking to basically it's more of an opportunity to um, pull out all of my eyeshadows clean the drawers and reorganize them um, and while I'm at it I am going to get rid of just a few things uh, that I haven't been using and I don't really have any interest in using. Nice little pile here. I'm going to start with the bulky things. These were the MAC 2016 or 2015, maybe 2015 holiday collection. Uh, they're little pigment sets. So I've got the purple one. I think this was nudes. Yeah. Uh, or golds. I'm going to keep the pigments. Um, and I'm going to, I suppose, back to Mac these boxes if I can, or I'm not sure if I want to keep the packaging. I have a box, um, that I store like antique and vintage um, makeup items like compacts and old lipstick bullets and stuff like that. Um, if there's room in there, I might just pop them in here because I won't be taking up any like extra space um, in my actual current storage drawers and then maybe decide in the future because I'm, I'm a bit on the fence about that. Nude sticks. This is one of the um, magnetic eye trios. It's got angel, spirit and moon. Um, this came out of a Sephora goodie bag. Um, I Look, I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm really struggling to use some cream eye pencil things that are in my project pan. It just doesn't fit into my routine the way that I like to do my makeup. So it's brand new, not used. I'm just going to pass that on. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I picked these up at a Sephora sale. Oh, when was it? Sometime last year just some individuals. I need to put them in um, a palette so I will keep those ones. Let's do some more stick type products and see a bunch floating around. Um, look, I do like these but I just, uh, they don't fit into my routine and I, I kind of, uh, I'm begrudged to get rid of them. So the Laura Mercier and Bobbi Brown sticks I'm going to get rid of because I don't use them. The NYX Jumbo Pencil, I was going to keep it because I thought, you know, I might need it. I don't, I'm probably not going to need it because I've never used it in the first place. Um, okay, Colourpop, these are the Supernova shadows. Look, I, I haven't had a good run with these. They haven't worked great for me um, but I'd like to play around with them a bit more they're not very old I just got them sometime last year uh, I think it was towards the end of the year so I'd like to have a bit more of a play with those guys pulling out the uh, Colourpop Supernovas reminded me that I have a fuckload of the Stella Magnificent Medals um, so I've got four of the large full size here I am going to keep them and I have a bunch of the little minis, which I picked up in Christmas packs last year. Um, I'm going to keep them as well. I really enjoy these. They're fantastic. I've got some eye candy glitters here. Um, these are the kind of things that I want to use more, but I always forget about them because how they're stored in my storage drawers, they're kind of out of my line of sight. So this was another reason why I wanted to do this because I kind of want to reorganize my single shadows. Um, I'm going to keep these along with the um, adhesive fluid and I've got a Lime Crime Diamond Crusher. Um, this is a lip product but I, it sets so my plan was to use it on the eyes because I don't like the way it looks on my lips. I'm going to hold on to that. I want to play with it some more. I have a uh, glitter here from I Nuovi, I think. Um, it's a gold holographic. I, uh, do I want to keep it? You know, I think I might actually, I'll get rid of that one um, along with this 
NYX glitter on the go in golden peach. Don't need it. I have a single shadow here from Scott Barnes. It is in the color Maharishi. It is fucking stunning, but this is really old. Um, beautiful sort of peachy gold. Oh my god, I don't want to get rid of it. It's old. It's got to go though. So off you go. A couple of individual pans here from Shuamura. Um, I need to pop them in a palette as well. I'm going to keep those. Uh, the MAC Spellbinder Shadows, um, I have another one there, and was there another one? No, I think that's all of them. Um, I'm going to keep those. I have some MAC pigments here, just in the little um, stacks. I'm going to get rid of those. Ah, these old Milani Shadows. Man, there were some fucking nice colours in here. I wish I had used them more. Uh, I've got five there. I feel like there should be more. Yeah, those can go. Here I have the Astralis um, Metallics eyeshadows. Now, I'm trying to currently pan one of these. They are a metallic cream product. Uh, I really like them, but I feel like I should only keep the colours that I know I will use. This one is sort of like an old goldy green shade. It is in JZ. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to keep Lana Del Grey and Guns and Rose petals. And I think... Let me swatch these. That one's quite dark. That is in the shade Plum Diddy. I don't think I'll use that enough. I think I will get rid of Pearl Jammin as well, which is a gold shade. Um, I'm currently working on a gold. I don't need to. I know that much for sure. Okay, I know an easy way to clean up some of these. All of my Inglot pigments I am keeping. Uh, I love these. They are my favorite. Like, I just... It's like one of those things I constantly want to add to. I have more as well. I think you can tell how much I love them. These are Cosmetic Kitchen pigments. Um, and I do like them. I just don't reach for them as much as I feel like I should. Is that all of them? Is it? I think, I think that's all of them. So I'm going to get rid of them. Um... Yeah, I just don't, I don't reach for them. Sugar pill, I will keep. I think I have another one. There we go. Actually, I have five. Okay, that's a thing. Um, I'm going to keep them. They're beautiful. Gorgeous colors too. Okay, let's take a look at these NYX singles. So these came out of an advent calendar in 2016. Uh, I only want to keep the shades that I really like. These surprised me. Um, the quality of these was quite good um the ones that i used anyway so what i would like to do is actually depot these um and yeah just keep the ones that i really like okay so i have seven here that i'm going to keep oh my god my box is getting full and i've got five that i want to declutter okay something that's quite easy for me these ones from etude house i picked up in japan is that all of them Yes. Uh, I picked these up in Japan. I fucking love them. I'm going to hold on to all of those. And I'm also going to keep these two that I got from the face shop. They are stunning, glittery, reflective loveliness. Okay, these two from Essence can go. Uh, all right, these Max Factor Excess Shimmer Pots. Uh, again, these are a cream type moussey eyeshadow product i'm going to keep the sort of taupey shade and the purple and i'm going to declutter the brown these prestige cosmetic singles i'm going to keep they are absolutely gorgeous okay uh mac extra dimension eyeshadow in it's snowing this was from holiday 2017 uh, i also got stylishly merry as you can see stylishly merry is not here because i fucking lost it i have searched 
high and low and literally for hours and hours and hours. I cannot find it. I don't know where it went. I feel like it disappeared into the nether of lost makeup. It was almost like it went into the washing machine and never came out like some socks do. So I, yeah, I'm fucking just devastated because that eyeshadow is gorgeous. This one is also very, very pretty in its own right but not quite as special as Stylishly Merry. However, I am keeping that one. Tarte, this is Revel. Uh, it looks amazing, but um, I would never buy another Tarte individual eyeshadow. It looks like it swatches amazing. These don't wear well at all, they fade. Um, I am gonna keep it since I haven't had it that long and yeah, it's, it's not gonna be one that I ever managed to pan. Uh, okie dokie, Inglot, this is the number 65. It is a matte black with silver glitter. Yes, I hit pan on that. Um, I've had this for a long time. I'm going to declutter it and I'm going to keep my Flora matte black. This is amazing. It's got fantastic pigmentation and it feels like butter. Look at that. Look at that. Seriously. It's like the only matte black that I ever need. So that I am keeping. Uh, okay, let's do some big ones. Look at that packaging. It's basically exactly the same. Uh, I've got a Chi Chi single here. This is in Rock With You. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I am going to keep it, but I will say this, I will never buy another Chi Chi single eyeshadow. They are too big. It's knowing how long it takes to pan an eyeshadow. I would have to use this every day for well over a year basically to pan it so I yeah it's just not happening um I am gonna keep it though because it's a pretty color uh, I also have Kat Von D Thunderstruck uh, this is an eyeshadow I mostly actually use it as like a highlighter but yeah I'm gonna keep that one okay Mac so I've got two here from a collection which I can't remember the name of. Um, I've got Tonight's the Night. Fuck oh, man, that packaging is so beautiful. Um, that's like a black and sparkly green. And then I have Moon is Blue, which is a black and sparkly blue. Both stunning. I picked them up at the corporate store um, on sale. And this one is Light Ray. Um, I, oh, I don't think I want Light Ray, to be perfectly honest. And look at me try and get that open. Um, yeah, I don't want that. So I'm going to declutter it, but I'm going to put it with my other MAC stuff so I remember to put it in my back-to-MAC bag. Okay, here's an individual I know I want to keep. It is Illamasqua Damon. It is a matte red. It is great. I'm going to hold on to that. Um, I have a Bieber pigment here in O1. It is a coppery color with um, really like beautiful cool undertones. I'm going to keep that. Um, I've only used it a couple of times but every time I used it I was blown away by it. So that can stay. Uh, oh here's more MAC. Okay that's a thing. Um, so this was from the Aquatic or something collection and I also have Smoky Mauve which is a purpley shade. Um, whoa stuck my nail in it. So I will keep both of them. Um, this green one, I bought it mostly for the packaging, to be perfectly honest. So that's a thing. This one here is the Angel Heart Eyeshadow in 03. I picked this up in Japan and it is just like a sort of peachy gold shade. I'm going to hold on to that. Um, okay, I've got some pigments here. Let's take a look at these. I don't think I want any of them. That's another Cosmetic Kitchen one. Um, yeah, I think I will declutter these guys. And I have a single NYX shadow here. How do I feel about this? Let's find out. Um, oh, oh, oh. I think this is similar to one that's in here. Okay, these look very similar but not exactly the same. So I'm going to swatch them. Okay, yep. Yeah. So this one is more red 
This one has more orange tones to it. I'm actually gonna keep this one and get rid of this. Okay, Colourpop, I'm not sure what I wanna keep here. So I'm gonna do a little swatchy poos and decide. While I was swatching these, I remembered that I also have this guy. It is the Dusk Till Dawn set. Um, I store it with my palettes uh, because I want to keep the packaging for now. I think it's very pretty. Um, I am keeping this, so that's just, you know, for transparency, transparency's sake. Um, so there's the swatches uh, here. I'm definitely getting rid of this one, which is Animal up here. I think I will also get rid of Jinxie, which is this one. I'm definitely keeping Elixir there and the next one is uh, Seeker so that's that one along with Drift which is there I don't know about this one this is Cricket which is the taupey swatch um, or to sorry taupey purple um, it's very cool toned purple and I also have Paradox which is this one down here I think I'll keep Paradox um, Look, I think I'll get rid of those three and keep those four. All right, guys, so there we have it. Um, I have my keep pile here and my declutter pile here. I'm pretty happy with how this went. I actually got rid of a lot more than I thought I would. So that is great. I'm going to go clean up my new mess. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will do a palette collection video next so if you're looking um forward to that it's coming for you soon thanks so much for watching guys see you in the next one bye